ZBrush has a funky little feature called split screen, um, which you can use when you're sculpting, which is kind of cool. So if I'm working on this guy here, you can see I've got multiple sub tools, and then I have an echo shade bust, which was sculpted by Rafa Grassetti, uh, which you, you can find that link online. I'll put it into the description below, uh, where you can download his entire echo shade model for free, which is kind of really cool of him. And in, in that I've just did, I've added the parts together. Uh, he had, I think it came in seven parts. I've added them uh, and then just cut out the bottom and use this as a bust reference for when I'm doing uh, portraits like this. So you'll notice here that this is off center. Um, this is the center, my model is actually centered here at the moment and I had this off center. So if I have this off center and I go into uh, transform menu and choose split screen, ZBrush will split the screen into two separate parts. And you can see it's kind of disappeared here. If I move over, you can see that it's not quite aligned. If I zoom in on this guy, um, I'm never getting on top of this. And that's because those two are in two separate places. So you're never gonna get it to work if they're not aligned on top of each other. So what you need to do is turn off split screen for the moment. Then when you have it here, basically just move this to the same position that you have the model that you're working on. So as long as this is in roughly the same position, I'm going to turn on transparent mode so I can see what height I have this at. Um, and we can even go up, be kind of really specific about it and go to geometry position and set the X position to zero here. And that will make sure that it's dead center. So from there, now we have a dead centered model. Uh, I'll turn transparency off. Uh, and you can see that it actually, this is a little bit off center purely because Rafa's model is a little bit heavier on one side than it is on the other. So I'm actually going to manually just move that into where I think the center would be, something like that. So having moved that into the center, we can go back here. And now if we go to our transform and choose split screen and set it to one, you can see that now as I move one side, we're gonna get the same on the other. The other thing that you'll notice is that I have several sub tools here and I have the echo shape model. Whatever is the selected one, that's the one you're working on. And that's the one that appears in the right hand side. So if I were to select another model here, it would be the guy. So you can see I'm working on this guy, but it's hidden all of these other sub tools and it's put them over with the echo shape model, which kind of looks cool, but weird. So if you don't want them, um, you have two options. You can either hide them like that. Um, so you're just sculpting on the, the face uh, and you know that works as well. Or you can merge them down into that as long as they have their own polygroups. I'll press Shift F so we can see this is one polygroup, this is one polygroup. Uh, Control W to make that one polygroup, Control W. And now we can just merge this down Merge down, and if these are all dyna meshes, that works fine. So now that we have that, all we have to do is press W, control and click on the mesh that we want to be sculpting on, which is the character, and that will automatically mask everything else. So now we can continue to work on this guy. And basically keeping our reference on, on screen and seeing is this what we want to do with our character. So it's a really cool little way to work. Um, it allows you to see this reference and to see the flow of muscles or whatever your reference might be and work that way. So hope this tip helps and as usual feel free to subscribe, like, comment below if you have any other suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Alright, cheers, bye.